Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited today to show you this really cute card and to make one with you. This is a digital image from Createful Heart Designs. I'm a member of the Createful Heart Designs design team, and I have been a member since September of last year. It was actually the first design team that I was asked to serve on. I had done one guest design team month with another company, but um, this was the company that uh, took a chance on me and invited me to be on their design team full time. And it has been so much fun. The digital image is called Ah Spa. Um, and it's a cute little hedgehog. She's taken a bubble bath. And I decorated it with some markers and I um, used some really bright paper to enhance it. And I embossed a sentiment that says, enjoy the simple things. And isn't this cute? There's even a little rubber ducky floating around in the tub. Um, actually, I had made two cards because what happened was this was my first one. And I thought, okay, great. That turned out really nice. So I'm going to do a video and make the second one. Well, it seems like YouTube just doesn't want to cooperate with me when I'm recording anymore. So it did not upload and it would not... I mean, the, the, usually the video saves to my phone, but it didn't even save to my phone. It was really weird. So I'm just recording this on my phone. I'm not recording it on YouTube. I will upload it to YouTube, but to hopefully save myself more grief and to actually accomplish my task, I'm just recording. But anyway, so a little bit more about the Createful Heart Designs. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab another copy of the digital image. So what's nice about digital stamps, and I, don't, I know there's people that have never used digital stamps before, and I, you know, I mean, I had colored things before that I had um, basically, you know, downloaded or adult coloring books. It's very similar, but I like it, and here's why. Number one, in most cases, it's a lot less expensive than purchasing a real, you know, photopolymer or red rubber stamp. Now, don't get me wrong. I still like both, but there are some advantages to a digital service. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about those and why I have been getting more and more digital stamps for my collection. Well, so the price, the price usually is a lot less expensive. Second, you can change the dimensions of the image to suit your needs. So you can make this as big as, I mean, you could go as big as the piece of paper that you have, you know, an eight by 10 piece of paper. You can make it small, small enough to fit on a little locket on a, on a necklace. Um, the possibilities are really endless when it comes to uh, the flexibility that you're going to get when it comes to digital images. Um, uh, you can just print them from your printer. So I just have an inkjet printer and that's how I printed the, the image. And I just printed it on um, 110 pound cardstock. And I have no problem using markers with my inkjet. Now, now I have a variety of markers. I don't only use alcohol markers, which I'll tell you a little bit about my markers as I color today. So I just want to reassure anybody that if all you have is an inkjet printer, that's okay. You're going to get good results. Um, with the digital images, you can enhance them with your other stamps if you want to. You have that flexibility. Of course, um, you can, again, like I said before, you can always make them smaller or larger. So those are some of the advantages with digital and you have it and you have it forever. Okay. As long as you have your computer and you have it stored, you're going to have it forever. Hold on a second while I adjust my camera and it doesn't take up as much space. I am rapidly running out of space in my craft room and having digital saves me 
a lot of space. Basically, the image is on my computer. I can access it whenever I need to, and it doesn't take up any closet space. So those are some of the things that I love about using digital. Now, if you've used digital stamps before, what did you like about them? Leave a comment below. Now, if you're not familiar with Createful Heart Designs, this is a company with, like, with lots of really cute digital images, and the designers are the owners, Mary and her husband, Mark. And in addition to having that, uh, Mary also is responsible for coordinating the blog of Createful Heart Designs. So I will have the links below to the shop where you can find the digital images and also to the blog where you can post a card that you design. And with the blog challenge, the theme is anything goes. And the winner receives free images or image from the Createful Heart Design shop. So if you have a card that you would like to enter, I would encourage you to do it. The party of um, the current challenge, also called a party, um, ends in three days. So today is Saturday, January the 11th. So the last day to enter would be Tuesday the 14th of January. And the design team, which as you know, I told you before, I'm a member of the design team. The design team votes on who wins. And so what we do is we take a look at all of them and each one, each one of us gets to vote. And the one card that receives the top vote is the winner. And if you have a blog, you receive a badge that you can put on your blog and you can basically advertise, for lack of a better word, that you won a challenge. So how cool is that? And, um, that's fun. It really is. I could really get into just spending my time entering challenges. Um, but that is not a very good way to spend my time. And my husband keeps reminding me that every day he is currently laid off. He works construction. So here in Pennsylvania in the winter time, you, you don't really have the ability to do a lot of road work construction. So he is basically constantly oh why are you making cards again i wish that you would do this i wish that you would do that so yeah we're going through that right now but you know i um find it to be extremely relaxing and enjoyable i certainly enjoy being able to have a large group of craft community um, subscribers and followers and friends and collaborators it gives me great joy and pleasure to be a part of the crafting community and the people that I have met through card making has been just the most supportive and uplifting and wonderful people um, it's been a real blessing in my life and I definitely get a lot out of it so it's not just about me, you know, constantly making cards. It's just about the friendships and the connection. It means, it means a lot to me. Okay, so a little bit about hedgehogs, which I didn't know that much about hedgehogs. They are not necessarily dark brown, all right? So my first picture in my mind when I went to color this was, oh, you know, their quills are like black. But really, it depends on whether their quills are just coming in, I guess. I don't know. Some of them have, they're almost white. And then some of them have quills that are brown with black tips. So I just made mine brown. Um, this one is a little bit of a lighter brown. But that's okay. Each hedgehog is unique. And I don't think hedgehogs necessarily like to take baths. But I could be wrong. But I think that if you have a hedgehog at home, it's a thing that as an owner, you have to, you know, regularly give them baths so that they can keep clean with their feet and everything. So what I've done so far, 
I colored the quills, the hair of her, um, basically top of her head. And then I'm just going in with an alcohol marker and I'm coloring in um, her face. And I'm using uh, Barely Beige, which is E11. And what I'm going to do is color her nose pink. Because at first, I thought hedgehogs had black noses. But then when I took the time to kind of educate myself a little bit about the looks of a hedgehog, I found out that their noses are more flesh colored. They're cute. They are cute. Cute little guys. Um, I need to find a light pink marker. Hold on one second. I have my markers here. Here they are. So as you can see, I mean, I pull from a lot of different style of markers. Like this is a Sharpie. I got distress markers. I've got Micron markers. I have lots of Jelly Roll because I really, really love them. Uh, they are so fun to color with. Um, I don't know if that's too bright of a pink. It might be. I thought I had a Sharpie that was a light pink. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I also have these markers. I'm not really sure what kind of marker this is. It says Touch Japan. But I'll tell you, they're nice. They are very nice for coloring. There we go. What a cute little nose. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and color the scarf. And the scarf I'm using sort of a jelly roll with glitter. I don't even know what the uh, official name of these are. They all have special names, but I like it because it's really bright pink. Okay, and I also have a neon pink I could use. What I could do is do two colors of pink and then do blue in the middle. Look at that neon pink. Isn't that nice? It's so bright. I also wanted to let you know that um, Createful Heart has a Facebook page that you can join. And it's called Createful Heart Digis and Design. And you'll see there's all kinds of um, information on the Facebook page about the challenge that you can enter and the prize that you could win. So it's really, you know, good, a good source of information. Speaking of blogs... My poor blog, I only have a handful of followers, so I need to start promoting my blog more. Um, my YouTube channel is growing. I'm almost at 500, not quite, almost. I think I'm around 453 or something like that. And my followers on Instagram grow, but it's really hard with the blog. So I'm hoping that if you watch this, that you'll Take a moment and just follow me on my blog. That will help me increase my numbers on my blog. When I reach the 500 on Facebook, the 500 viewers on Facebook, I'm going to have a big giveaway. So um, what I might do, and I'm just thinking out loud here, is ask people to follow. When I reach the 500 on Facebook, the 500 viewers on Facebook, I'm going to have a big giveaway. So um, what I might do, and I'm just thinking out loud here, is ask people to follow my blog as a way to enter to win some of the awesome. At this point when I was making my project, my camera phone froze up and stopped recording. So what I've done is I have just created a couple end slides here. So you can look at the final project. I'll have links below in the description box where you can check out my blog and my um, other social media links that has other photos of the card that I created using this digital image. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry about the problems that I had with the video. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.